Yes. Yes. He has no idea he's hooked right now. What's going on y'all, Captain Collier here. Welcome back to the channel. So we're out here in some uh, it's pretty snotty weather right now. We're on the coast of 264 with the fishing public with Captain Eli. And currently right now, we are fishing under one of these giant uh, cargo ships. So these ships like to hold a lot of bait out here. And uh, where there's bait, there's usually game fish, whether it be bonita, king mackerel, cobia and uh, hopefully we're going to try and get some cobia today that's the the goal and what we're using is just a free line and a knocker rig with some live croakers and we're just going to bounce around ship to ship and hopefully get on a few like i said it's pretty snotty out here right now so hopefully we can get on some fish and make it worth the ride but y'all y'all come join along let's uh hopefully get on some action for y'all so this is the first ship that we're stopping at here so we're just seeing if there's any cobia here usually if you make three or four casts and you don't get a bite probably not any here but we're already out this far so we're gonna spend a good amount of time we're gonna find some fish today it's just a matter of which which ship they're on and so when we come out here to target these ships we usually just target the stern and the bow those usually are the most productive points whenever we fish around these ships especially around the anchor chain if you go to the bow just get up current of the anchor chain throw your uh, croaker out your jig whatever it may be and we're just letting it free swim and hopefully if there's one there he's hungry and wants to eat a croaker whoa <laughs> <Brilliant>. <laughs> hey. captain trying to knock me overboard oh there we go right. that was as i was reeling it up Got that hole. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it's a cobia. It's got some head shapes. Oh yeah. Second ship. We hit. I believe this is the right fish. And it feels pretty good. You watching the boat? It's got some good head shapes. Hopefully it's the right fish. <clears throat> Using my Shimano Saragossa 8000 <clears throat> with a Shimano Talus extra heavy six foot rod. Come on. Yep. He's a keeper. Maybe. Oh yeah. That's what we're after, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Let's wait for the good gaff shot. He's going to be close, actually. I think he's going to be a keeper, though. There we go. Oh, my gosh. He's bleeding. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, we got him now. Hold on, hold on. Okay. There we go. That's what we're after. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Look, got a little remora came off of them. All right, y'all. We got about a 38-inch cobia right here. No monster, but this is the second ship that we've uh, came up on. This guy came up and ate it. Eli got me a good gaff shot, and uh, we're going to throw him in the box and hopefully get us another one there. So simply, that's all I'm using right there is a 5 out owner circle hook with 60-pound fluorocarbon leader with a quarter ounce egg sinker there and we're going to pair that up with one of these live croakers that we got i haven't found that it matters what the size of the croakers are as long as they're good and lively and i'm just going to hook them right in that top nose here just like that that way you don't kill them or drown them if you have to pull them in so the last time that we were here 
we pulled up on the first ship and there was literally three cobia just sitting on top of the surface that's convenient but it's not always like that sometimes you have to cover the whole water column that could be from the top to the bottom and that's kind of what we're doing is just drifting along the side of this ship starting at the bow working our way to the stern and that last fish that i caught was actually pretty deep he was probably about 45 50 feet so we're just trying to locate where these fish are at right now about right there is a good spot a lot of times these workers on these ships will have lines hanging down you always got to watch out for those working on these night shifts and stuff they'll have lights hanging down fishing lines doing the same thing we're doing but on the clock can't be mad at them no. <laughs> i do the same thing <laughs> oh i'm on i'm on That's a good one. Back up. Tighten that drag just a little bit. Hope I ain't in that guy's line over there. That was real deep. Oh yeah, this is definitely better than that other one. He is really wanting to go to that ship. <sighs> yeah. Man, where are you going? Don't get up under that rudder there. I'm trying to keep my line low so we don't get to that prop. What is it that you're worried about? I don't want that cobia to swim up and get in that rudder or that prop and cut me off. Or getting these people's lines that they've got off the back here. He should be hooked good. Made a few big runs. Huh? No. No, I, I mean, I can. I don't want to pull them off. Of them. Yeah. I just need to turn that head. I hope those lines that they've got out are, uh, pretty yeah, pretty shallow. Yeah, we'll cut them if we have to. Oh, yeah, I feel the head shakes. No. Definitely not a Bonita. Hold me right here, Eli. Don't go any further. I don't want my braid to rub against that rudder. Oh, I think he just rubbed against it. Back up. Back up. I think he's rubbing against it right now. All right, so I'm loosening my drag up because I feel like he got either in that rudder or somebody's line. Okay, I think he's out. I'm trying to keep him down. All right, he's coming up now. Oh, don't tell me he got off. No, he's still on. Okay, he must have just got loose of that line. Here he is. Nice cobia. Big cobia. Nice cobia. With the gaff shot. Woo! <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That was a stressful fight, man. That was amazing. I don't know how Good, you Cobia. Let's see if my line's frayed any. No, it's good. That's impressive. Beautiful fish. Yes. Way to go, boy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> fish in public, getting it done, y'all. All right, that's your limit. You're done. So that was a very stressful fight. So if y'all can see, there's two lines hanging off the stern. That fish was very deep and I felt something rubbing against my braid. I wasn't sure if it was rubbing against the rudder of that ship or those other lines, both which would cut me if you put enough strain on it. But we managed to get this nice fish up right here. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's a good one, y'all. <laughs>
getting me, getting blood all over me, but it's all right. Totally worth it. I'm two up right now, so I guess I got to put my rod and reels up. I've got my limit here in Alabama. It's uh, two per person, 36 inches to the fork. What a gorgeous fish. Getting blood all over the boat. I love it. All right, all right, bring him up. Eli's, Eli just brought a, a big Kobe up, about the same size. Go ahead and open that box up for me, Tanner. All right, ready? Yep. He doesn't know he's hooked. So he's no, he has no idea he's hooked right now. I was literally changing batteries. Yeah! Whoa! 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 That was crazy. That's a bit. Watch your feet, man. Watch your feet. Y'all, it's getting crazy out here. <laughs> your time to clean the boat. Fish, boys. Nice. She finally got some blood on the deck. You know it's a good start when you got blood on your glasses. <laughs> That's where he's gonna be at. That croaker's gonna drift right up under that ship. Kobe is gonna slurp it up. Trying to get right up under that bait school. I'm thinking that's where them Kobe are gonna be hanging around. Got him! <laughs> oh, he let it go, he let it go. He was down deep. I don't think I pulled it. That was definitely a bite. There he goes, he came back. I'm gonna let him take it for a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Too late. <laughs> uh, he ain't big, whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he ain't big. What is that? Oh, it's a baby. Look at him. Oh. Yeet! <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the back. <laughs> what are you doing? This is the lazy man camera job. <laughs> Put on the gaff, lean it up against the thing, just let it ride. You know what I'm saying? It's a hard life. It's aimed on I mean, I'm it's, in a recliner. It's right? a hard job, but somebody's got to do it. There he goes. Come on. There we go. Mm hmm. Good fish. I feel like I say that every time. <laughs> that initial hook set though makes it makes you think it is. Definitely another one. You ready? He's coming up. He's right here at the boat. Definitely a keeper. Here we go. Gas shot for the win. Oh no! <laughs> He wasn't ready. <laughs> and my croaker just chilling out, huh? Alright, I'll play with him for a minute. Yes. Yes. Love that. All right, that's three for you. You're done after this one. I was three. done after the last one. What are you talking about? <laughs> you definitely got me. Unless you screw me Everybody's up. Everybody's got to win once in a while. Yeah, give me a break. <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, there's, there's another one, one right behind it. There's hurry up, hurry up. Get your bait. That's a good one. It's another keeper. There's two of them. Two of them right here behind it. Chuck it out. Just right here. Up, up, up under the boat. Hey, oh. He came up. That was a smaller one, right here. Throw it out. What are you waiting on? Throw it in the water. He just got it. He got it. <laughs> I got super light guy. Double up, baby. <laughs> here, I, I can get this one by myself. <laughs> Y'all are crazy right now. Hey, watch out. <laughs> Fish in public, baby. Get yours up. I'll gaff it. Yours is a little bit smaller. Yeah. Here we go. Get the other one. Right here. Okay. 
<laughs> Mine's foul hooked, I think. Watch your feet, watch your feet, watch your feet. Ah, there we go. That's two, probably 30. Wait, you think 30, 35? Yeah. I know I can't hold them both up at the same time, that's for Probably's sure. Probably bigger than yours. No, I think, which yeah. one's bigger? That one's mine. Yeah, this one's mine, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What have they done? Oh my gosh, that was like 20 of them. That was crazy. I've never seen that. Jig rug. it, jig it a little bit. I'm on. <laughs> We're on again. What, four today? Oh, I think this is about five or six. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's five. Under size up. <laughs> Show them the hey, screen hey. right there, y'all. That's what we're looking at on the screen. Those are the that's all cobia. Hey, Taylor, reel yours up, and when this comes up, there's going to be one small on it. Yeah. I'm just going to haul some up real quick. Uh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's a big one. Yeah, watch out. Go around. Reel yours up. Oh. Yo, I need to go back to the gym. I'm wore out. Wore out. My back hurts from carrying the team today. <laughs> Sarah Ghost are putting in work. Here he is. Oh yeah. Nice one. That's the biggest. That's the biggest one of the day. Y'all look at that. That's a 40 pounder. That's more than 40. That's a big one. Yeah! Number six. That's what I'm talking about, man. A little remora just popped off. That's a limit. That's a limit. Woo! Ready to go, boys. Right. Here we go, y'all. What an epic afternoon to this uh, Cobia trip here. This is probably the best one I've had in a long time. And uh, super ecstatic about these fish that we've caught today. All on live croakers, knocker rigs. What y'all think, probably about 40 pounds? More than that. Yeah, Maybe 40, close to 50. Close to 50 pound Kobe right here. I think this is the biggest one of the day. I do appreciate this fish. He's gonna eat very well. We're gonna throw him in the box and uh, we're done. All right guys, we're back at the house now. We've got Tanner over here. He was nice enough to be our cameraman for the day. Hey! Getting me wet. I, I was just talking good about them. The old Costa 264 did good for us today. Put us on the fish here. Six cobia, three man limit of cobias. We got Captain Eli here filleting them out for us. We're gonna get all the meat off of them. Throat meat, belly meat. None, none of it's gonna get wasted. But I hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Y'all please check out my Instagram and TikTok. I've been uploading a few pictures and videos to those as well. Y'all can check those out in the description below. But until next time, we will see y'all back out in the water. Y'all please be sure to be safe. Get a line with Rod Bent. We'll see you back out in the water next time.